What's going on YouTube? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys more ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Before this video starts, you guys know the deal. If you want to see more content from me, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button, clicking that subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section down below. Seriously, the support has been crazy. I cannot thank you guys enough. So guys, in today's video, we're rocking out with this G-Max Sandaconda team, which I am actually very hyped for. It's rocking Steelix in it, and I know a few people in the comment section down below was like, Jeans, you Steelix, here you guys go. This one is for you. Rocking in that front spot, we do have that Steelix with Sturdy as its ability, and if you don't know what Sturdy does, it is a great ability. It actually works as like a focus sash. We cannot get one hit KO. He's rocking the item of an Akaberry with the moveset of Body Press, Gyro Ball, Protect, and Curse. We're going to use Curse to lower our speed because Steelix is already a slow Pokemon. So we can boost our defense and attack and go get going with that Body Press and that Gyro Ball. Then we got this Gyarados, Gary the Gyarados over here, rocking that Assault Vest with Intimidate as his moveset, normal moveset for him, Waterfall, Bounce, EQ, and Power Whip. Then we got the boy right here, the Sandaconda. I love his design. It's like a snake with a snake wrapped around it, but I think it's just one snake just wrapped around itself. Not too sure. He's rocking Sand Spit as his ability. I think when it enters the battle, it will set up a Sandstorm, and when it leaves, it enters another Sandstorm, which is awesome, which is dope. And it has its Binding Band for its G-Max move. So what the Binding Band does, it actually increases the damage of like Binding moves like Sand Tombs, Fire, Spins, and like, what is it, Binds and all that. So it actually make that double damage for those types of uh, effects. Rocking high horsepower, rock slide, glare for the paralyze, and protect. Then we got my boy Ferrothorn, and I actually really do like this moveset on him because you never really see it. He's rocking that Iron Barbs and the Leftovers with Gyro Ball, Leech Seed, Protect, and the move that kind of throws it off is that Gravity. What Gravity does is pulls Levitate Pokemon and Flying Pokemon down to the ground for like five turns so they can get hit by ground moves and all that. So it would actually work well against Rotom. So if Rotom's want to come out there with a Levitate, I can go into Gravity, then into an EQ, and just dumpster that thing. Then we got this T-Tar, rocking the Unnerve, no berries, and that weakness policy. Such a strong Pokemon. Such a great Pokemon in Season 2 right here. Everyone's been using it. It's been rocking out very, very well. Rock and Rock Slide, Crunch, Dragon Dance to set up, and that Protect. Protect is just such a good doubles move. Then we got this Arcanine with Safety Goggles. I actually like the Safety Goggles on him with Intimidate. Safety Goggles actually... It cannot get hit by powder, so like Butterfreeze, get out my face, and it cannot get affected by weather conditions. Rock and Flamethrower, Snarl to lower the special attack, will o for the burn, and protect. If you guys would like to use this team for yourself, rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. Definitely try it out if you guys use it. Let me know how you do. I would love to hear your guys' feedback. Also, let me know for question of the day, what is your favorite generation of starters? Not just one starter, the whole generation, so the three. For me, I love the Hoenn starters. I love Trico, Torchic, and Mudkip. I love all three of them. They just work so well together and are beautiful. But guys, without further ado, let's get going with this G-Max Sandaconda team. Before we even talk about this battle, check this out. We are matching my layout. Let's go. Jeans is here. He's matching, supporting the channel, and all that good stuff. But this guy's rocking the extra drill. T-Tar team, probably Sandstorm team, with the Gyarados, the Corviknight, the Lucario, and that Levitate Rotom there. So he has two Flying's and one Levitate. I might try to pull off this Gravity trick. I might try to pull off this Gravity trick. I can see him leading the, what's it called? Who do I see him leading? Maybe that Gyarados? Is that too predictable to see him leading the T-Tar? that too predictable? I definitely want to lead this, because this does work in all those categories. We can drop that. Then I kind of want somebody, maybe with my Gyarados. We can potentially go with my Gyarados. He has EQ. You can bring them all down there. We'll do some work with it. Um, we have that Assault Vest too, but he's not physical attacking. Only one Pokemon's physical attack. If he brings in that Rotom, we're chilling. I want to bring my Sandaconda in that back. Sandaconda is beautiful. And I want to bring in my Steelix. Is this the call? Is this the call? Should I lead that Steelix? Nah, I think we're chilling. I think we are chilling here. I really do. I can see him leading maybe the Rotom. The Lucario Corviknight, but I want to get this gravity going. I really do want to get this gravity going with my boy, Ferrothorn. Also, guys, if you want to catch more content from me, you guys know the deal. Head and link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Tons of fun. Thank you to everybody who has come out to the stream so far. Seriously, it goes a long way. We had a great stream last time. It was bumping. Thank you, guys. Okay, so we are going to rock out with this gravity EQ, I think. I think gravity EQ is going to pop off here. Gravity EQ. Yo, he's not ready for it. Oh, he's going to mirror armor. What you mean? <laughs> so I probably have to go into that mirror armor. Uh, don't really do much to that Rotom. Mm. Are we outspeeding that thing? I'm gonna set up this gravity here. Uh, do we outspeed that thing? That is the real question. Let me see this thing. Let me see this Gary Gary. We are assault vested, so we can potentially eat up a shot there. 
We are not going to outspeed that thing. We might want to swap out here. Uh, we're going to go into our Sandaconda. Right? Gravity into Sandaconda. Just in case the, the electric move comes out here. Then we go into the G-Max Sand Spit. Okay, save our Gary Gary. Gary's going to be chilling there. There it is. Come back. Let's go set up this, ga this uh, gravity, man. Set up this gravity for us. Get this boy in here. What time's going to protect? That's fine by me. That is fine by me. I don't mind getting this gravity going. Tailwind's going to pop out from the Corvo. From the Corvo Knight. That is fine by me. Gravity. Yeah, get on the ground. Get on the ground, baby. Okay, so you guys are falling from the sky there. Get out of my face. Let me check out the Santa Con. This is special defense real quick before we actually rock out here. Let's see it. His defense is better than his special defense. Okay. Um. Hmm. I want a Dynamax. I really do want a Dynamax here. I want to go for the Leech Seed over on you. And I really want a Dynamax and get that Sand Spit going. That Sand Blast. And go after this Rotom. I want to go after this Rotom. Get the Sand Tombs rolling on everybody. Hopefully he does a Dynamax as well. I can see him Dynamax and that Rotom doing some work on me. Kind of getting scared. Kind of getting scared here. Let's go. Don't dare Dynamax. I hope he swaps out someone. Gravity is on the field, so everyone's going to get hit by it. Woo! He's going to withdraw that Rotom. That's fine by me. I just want to get this Sandstorm going. Oh, we're going to do some work against this T-Tar here. We are going to do some work. This should be super effective towards him, too. And the Leech Seed's going to pop over. Oh, we'll take that Sandstorm. I'm fine with the Sandstorm. I don't think I'm fine with that Sandstorm. I'll get this Leech Seed off. And this G-Max Sandblast. He's going to outspeed us, though. He is going to outspeed us. You guys know it. Because of the Tailwind's up. And he's probably weakest policy wanting us to go into this. We should be able to deal a decent amount of damage to it. And then get this, uh... The tomb going out here. So we got the buffets, the tombs. We're chilling. We are chilling here. And we're going to get this leech seed out. Which is beautiful. The leech of the seed. Iron Head comes out from this Corvo. We eat that up all day. You're not going to make us flinch. We're dynamaxing. G-Max Sandblast. Yeah, you baby. Let's go. Look at that. Look at that damage. Oh, the tomb's going to take him out. The tomb is going to take him out. Unless he's not affected by the tomb. Unless he's not affected by the tomb. He should be. Right? Everyone should be in that. Everyone should get dancing in that sand tomb. Leech Seed pops out here. Yes, sir. Put it on him. Give me that Leech Seed. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. We still have our Steelix in the back who is a defensive tank. Defensive tank here. We're going to get that Leech Seed rolling. And look at that. Sand tomb pops out here. Does damage. Does it go on that T-Tar? It better go on that T-Tar. Yes, okay. It does go on that T-Tar. And it should take him out. Should take him out. Night, night, T-Tar. Night, night, buddy. Bad call by him to go into it. And his gravity is rocking out, dude. I never used a gravity team before. This is awesome. I love it. He's like, I'm just going to go in with all my levitate Pokemon, all my flying Pokemon. I'm like, yeah, gravity boy. Get out of my face. <laughs> he goes this Rotom. What you want, Rotom? You going to Dynamax you? I'm going a, I'm to a double into that Rotom. I'm doubling into that Rotom. Oh, I thought we had maybe a, what's it called? Can I double Leech Seed? That's a question. That is a question. I don't know if we can. I couldn't swap out into my Steelix, but I don't really want to. I can't swap out into my Gyarados to get that Power Whip off. I kind of want to stay in here. I mean, how much damage will this Gyro... Is Gyro Ball... What is it? It's not very effective over there. Eh. I don't really want to go into Protect. I feel like they're going to double up on me. I'm going to swap in my Gyarados. And then I'm going to go for that G-Max Sand Blast. What do I go for? I need this Rotom out the way. That Rotom is tough. Little bugger. He is a tough little bugger. Only thing that we are going to take him out with is potentially our Gyarados. Potentially our Gyarados here. Let's see. Intimidate pops out here. The mirror armor is going to pop back at us, which is kind of scary. Kind of scary. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. What you want? The Rotom might Dynamax here. He is going to Dynamax that Rotom. Come after my Sandaconda. He is going to go after my Sandaconda. That is scary. That is very, very scary here. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. I, I feel like he might be able to one-tap my Sandaconda. The Sandaconda is not really a special defense tank. There's no way he's going after my Ferrothorn. There's not a chance going after my Ferrothorn. Let's see. Let's see. Max guys are onto my Sandaconda. I should have max guarded it there. I should have max guarded it. Yes, we eat. We should be able to maybe one tap this Rotom up. We should be able to maybe one tap this Rotom up. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. The rain comes out here. We're going to sand spit. Give me that. That's what he does. That's how he spits it. Spits out that sand. Say no, no to your geyser, buddy. Whoever Knight's got a brave bird. Not on my Sanda. Not on my Sanda. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Go on him. That's fine by me. Look at that. Corvinite gets damaged by the recoil. And the sand tomb 
He's gonna pop out on both these. Possibly take out this thing. Look at this. Yeah, you yeah. do it. No, it's not gonna take him out. <laughs> That's fine. We're gonna double into this road time again. But oh no! He's eating a berry! He's eating a big berry! But it's alright. We have our uh, buffets coming out here. And our uh sand tombs. Woo! Look at that. I don't think the sand tombs on my Gary. Seeing his leftovers. And it is leech seeder, right? It is leech seeder, right? Or did we lose it? Yes, we do have that leech seed. Give it up. Give me that health, man. Gyarados is taking over. <laughs> Give me that, yo. This thing gets buffed it, has its leftovers, we're leech seeded, and the sand team's gonna do some work on it. <laughs> yeah. What you want? What you want? Uh, we're probably gonna go into a max guard here. Power whip. Max guard. No way you're reading my max guard. Going to max guard, trying to slow down these turns so the sand tomb comes out and the buffets again. Ooh wee, ooh wee, we have so much going on in the field right here. You're gonna max guard, we're gonna max guard. Imagine if we would've went after that Corviknight, that would've been butte, that would've been a butte. Roost is gonna come out here. That's fine. That's fine, the buffet and the sand tomb is gonna do a little bit more damage to everything there. Power whip, nothing. Power whip does nothing. Let's go. Get it. Buffets come out. The buffets, the leech seeds, and all that good stuff is gonna pop out here. That Rotom's scary. He is a scary little Pokemon. He just is. Is the gravity still in effect? Because I don't mind EQ, and he's gonna take out my Sandaconda here. We all know that for a fact. So I think an EQ would be the play call if that gravity is still in effect. I gotta see. I just have to see. Let's see. Well, tell me if it's... The Tailwind Peter's out. We gotta see if we still have our gravity. Is our gravity still in this battle? Let's see. If it is, we're gonna go for an EQ here. The gravity is still in effect. And the Sandstorm. So, EQ is gonna pop off here. EQ? Because I see him just taking out my Sandaconda here. Uh, do we protect? Or... If we can't get this off, I am going to glare this Corviknight. I am going to glare this Corviknight. Let's see, because I see him going for that Max Geyser, changing up that we Sand Spit. I think we Sand, sand Spit once we lead the battle, right? Is that how it works? I'm not too, too big in knowing how the Sand Spit works. <laughs> Just letting you guys know this now. Look at my boy, Santa Kana doing some work. And we're chilling, we still have the Steelix in the back end, and we still have our Ferrothorn. Max Lightning's gonna pop out, no! Eat it up, eat it up. Oh my God, that would have been huge. That EQ would have been huge. That EQ would have been huge. Dang, smart little cookie play by him. But his Dynamax turns are gone. We might set up another gravity. Actually, I don't think we're going to need another gravity. We are kind of out of ground moves after this. Blair's going to pop here on this little boy. On this little boy. We're still here. The Paralyze comes out. It's huge. Gravity is gone. Oh, that came up big. That came up big, actually. Buffets and the Sand Tombs are going to come out here. Thing is leftovers. Will the Leech Seed slide over? Or since Gyarados died, is it over? Over. Sand Tomb's going to do a little bit more damage each time. Yes, sir. I love the sand tomb. I really do like the sand tomb. It does some work. Wow. And that binding band on it, it just does beautiful work. Uh, who do we go into? Steelix? Steelix is super fat. Oh, we'll get murked on, by the way. Um, I'm going to roll into the Steelix here. I'm going to roll into the Steelix. I know the gravity has gone. I know the gravity is gone. But I'm going to go into a nice little protect here. And just have this sand tomb and everything. Just keep doing work. Just slowing this match down. Taking it one step at a time. We got to play it slow here. So protect. And then Santa Con is going to roll into a rock slide. I'm going to roll into a rock slide here. Because the gravity's gone. These Pokemon will not be affected anymore. Come on! Show me some work. I'm thinking... I, this one I'm thinking, I'm thinking the, uh, what's it called, comes from my, uh, Steelix. I'm thinking that Rotom comes after my Steelix. Hydro Pump. Oh, we just avoided it. You love to see it. You love to see it. Big avoid there. Big avoid there. That Buffet and that Sand Tomb, I think it's going to take him out. And the Gorgonite flinches. Yes, sir. Show me that Sand Tomb takes him out. Show it to me. Woo. Oh, man, we came out big there. Leech Seed's still in effect. Still in effect on that Corvel. Just taking that thing slowly down. And the Sand Tomb, take out that Rotom. Come on, say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Yes, dude! The Sand Tomb is so good. This is kind of like a stalling team here. You got that Steelix in the back who's a defensive tank. We'll go... Oh my god, dude. That Sand Tomb does too much damage. But the Steelix is going to be fine. We take those! We take those! This guy just quit. This guy just quit. He turned off his switch. 
<laughs> Let's go! Let's go! We made this guy turn off his switch. That is how you rock out with this team, guys. You love to see it. Why do you have to do that? Why did that guy have to quit? Like, it, this, there's no benefit for him. He quits and he can potentially get banned here. Why doesn't he just wait a turn? Run. Was he really that mad at me? God, man. But this guy's rocking out with that Ferrothorn, that extra drill, my Levitic Dragon Pult, probably that Levitate Hydreigon, and that Sylveon. Okay. I don't know if I want to go into another Gravity Squad. I mean, Ferrothorn doesn't really have a grass move. He's kind of like just there to stall, put on the gravity. How physical attacking is this guy? Uh, he's kind of half and half. I'm going to bring that Gyarados. I'm going to bring that Santa Con again. I'm going to lead that Gyarados. I think Gyarados is a great lead here. Uh, do I bring the Arcanine for that double Intimidate? I think I'm going to go Titar, Gyarados, Santa Conda. Hmm. 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 I'll definitely bring out Steelix. So I lead Steelix. So I think he's going double physical in the front end. But I could see him potentially leading something else. I'm going to go definitely one Intimidate here with this Salt Vest. Uh, I don't want to lead the Sandaconda. I'm going to go Steelix here. I'm going to go Sandaconda. Actually, hold the phone. Is that a Gyarados? Let's withdraw. Let's just withdraw you. Let's put the Arcanine in because we have that Snarl and that Safety Goggles. We can bring you and the T-Tar here. Only thing I'm worried about is that Milotic, but I think we will be fine. I don't... Do we really see him bringing that Milotic? I can see him bringing it, but I'm not too, too worried about that Milotic. I really am not. I really am not worried uh, too much about that Milotic. That Milotic just shreds the team that we just brought, but my prediction is he's not bringing it. I don't think you're bringing that Milotic. Let's see. He's probably going to lead it. Oh, dude, he is leading it. No! <laughs> it's all good. Kind of second guess myself. I knew I should have brought that Gyarados. reason I didn't is because I want to do some Snarl action. want to do some Snarl action up here. And have that attack drop competitive. You hunk of jump. Special attack raises sharply. Mm -mm -mm. Thing is competitive. Attack's gonna fall for you. And what is going on with you? Return. Oh, he's white herbin up. He's white herbin here. Body press can come out here on this hydrogen, which is, that's exactly what we're gonna do. And we're just gonna protect over here with our Arcanine. We're just gonna protect. We're gonna try to get the Steelix to get a nice little free shot off on us. Maybe. Oh, he, he's Dynamaxing that Milo. He's Dynamaxing that Milo. Oh no, we're not going to have fun here. We are not going to have fun here. He's probably going after my Steelix. He's probably going after my Steelix here. Go after my Arcanine. Please go after my Arcanine, man. Arcanine, get that Protect up, buddy. Get that Protect up. You know she's coming for you. You know she's coming for you. I feel like Steelix can potentially one-tap this thing with a Body Press, this Hydreigon. I'm thinking Heat Wave's going to pop out here from the Hydreigon. Mwah. Eat that up. And then, mwah. Ooh, our Akaberry, or Oka, however you pronounce it. It's gonna come into effect here. We should be able to eat up now. Yes, sir. Steelix, my boy. Comes up big. And now here comes the max. Guys are over on my Arcanine. That's it. That's it. Eat it, Arc. Arcanine will eat that up. Ooh, wee. With that protect. Look how much damage I still did. Hopefully, this body press can at least do some work here. We would love to see it. If we can. Let's go. Come on, body press. Yeah, yeah. Built. Do some damage. Yep. See you later, Hydreigon. Steelix coming up big. Steelix coming up big right off the ripo. Um, we know the max guys are coming in here. I dude, this Milotic is tough. If we can win this match, like, whoo! You kidding me? That'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. Okay, so he's gonna come into effect here. Let me go into another body press. I'm gonna go for a body press over on you. I'm gonna go for a flamethrower, just joshing across here. Rock Slide's gonna come out here from the drill. Arcanine avoided it. Steelix avoid it. Now, Steelix will eat it up, though. No, all day. Look at that. <laughs> like, two damage? <laughs> Next, guys, are coming over on my arc. On my arky poo. It's fine. No, on my Steelix. My Steelix is gone for. He's gone for. But we get this free flamethrower off, which I'm fine with. Steelix kind of did his job. He kind of did his job. Let's go, flamethrower. Mwah. Get it over there. Get it over there. Yeah. Nice little damage. Nice little damage there. And do we roll into the T-Tar potentially set off this? I'm going to that T-Tar and then bring in that Sandaconda later. Be beautiful. It could be beautiful. The T-Tar is coming in here. I do I dine it right here? No berries for everybody. That's fine. Um I think I'm gonna Dyna Max Rockfall. Get the sandstorm rolling. Um where do I go? Yeah. Where do I D-dance first? No, we're gonna we're gonna get this rolling. We're gonna go after this Milotic. Start doing some work on you, and then I am going to burn. Do I burn? Or no, I'm gonna just take out the extra drill if we can. If we can take out the extra drill, that is exactly what we're gonna do. That is exactly what we're gonna do. Hopefully, she can take off our weakness policy. 
Yeah, now let's roll with that. We can still be in this match because we just need that Milotic out the way. And I can see my T-Tar weakness policy style and the Santa Conda actually running this match. Actually running this match. Bam, bam, bam. Should have brought in that Gyarados. I second guessed myself. They're bringing in this Arcanine. We're bringing in this Arcanine. We were fine without the Arcanine. Iron Head's going to pop off here. Give me that weakness policy, please. Thank you very much. Pop that off. Max Rockfall is going to take this out. But hopefully she goes after my Arcanine. Hopefully you go after my Arcanine. Max Geyser. Go after my Arcanine. I, I need my T-Tar here. Arcanine's going to go down here. That's fine. That is fine. We're going to get this Sandstorm rolling. We're going to get this Sandstorm up. Which is beautiful. And the Sandaconda is going to come in here. And we can potentially set up glares and stuff. Get some paralyzes on this Milotic. All that good stuff. Look at that. Boop. Nice. You love to see it. Beautiful damage there. Beautiful damage there. And the Sandstorm's coming out here. No more water. No more water. I think I'm just going to go into maybe a protect on my Santa Conda here. Might go into a protect here. I would have loved to G-Max Santa Conda, but the T-Tar was the call. It was the call here. But especially with that weakness policy. And once we get this Milotic out of the way, we can be rolling. Can be rolling. We made our path hard. Uh, we go into another Max Rock Ball. Max Darkness can lower the target special defense. Um... But we gotta take out this Milotic. This Milotic has to go. I would love to glare something, but I think I'm just gonna go into a protect. I think I'm just gonna go into a protect. I really do. Because I don't see him taking out my T-Tar. I see him going after my Sandy Conda. Let's see. Protect comes out from the Sandy Boy. From the Sandy Boy. We can wait this turn out. Potentially get this Milotic out the way. Iron Head pops out. We will eat that up. And T-Tar outspeed that Milotic. Nope. Miss it. Miss it. Woo! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Let's go! Let's go. See you later, Milo. Get out of my face, little boy. Get out of my face. Okay. Okay, with all that done, I'm going to probably glare the next Pokemon that comes out here and take out the other one or take it out with my... Then take out the extra one with my T-Tar. The Ferrothorn pops out. We got to paralyze this thing. Things got to get the para on him. Get that para rolling. I'm going to go Max Darkness here. Lower the special defense. Then the glare is going to pop here. Glare is going to come out here on the Ferrothorn. I need that thing to be paralyzed. Need to be paralyzed. Yo, Ferrothorn is going to protect. Smart little cookie play there. By going for an Iron Head on my T-Tar again. EQ is going to pop out here. Whoa. I'm kind of scared. Okay, we eat. We're chilling. We're chilling. We say bye-bye. We say bye-bye to that uh, extra drill. Okay. Okay, we're sitting good. We're sitting good. I like where we're sitting. We made our path harder by not going into that Gyarados there. We went with a heavy... Heavy sandstorm team here. Heavy over here. Heavy. It was very heavy. And then we brought that Arcanine in here, which water just shreds us all. Water just shreds us all, but we did come up clutch here. That body press took out that Hydreigon. And now we're still rolling. Uh, what do I do here? Do I crunch? Do I rock slide? And then we're going to outspeed so we can potentially get that flinch. Um, I think I'm just going to crunch. Do I go into the glare here? Help us out just a tad bit. I'm going to glare this thing instead of going into a high horsepower. I'm going to glare it. I'm going to give it a glare. Crunch comes out. Yay. Give him that crunchy poo. Nice damage with that weakness policy. Iron Barbers don't take us out. Oh, we're on three. We're on three. Glare comes here. Give him that little paralyzed. Show me this thing is still paralyzed. What's he going to do? Show it to me. Show it to me. Woo! Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what's up. That's what's up. And then this crunch and high horsepower should be able to give it the rockins and take it out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Crunch coming in. Crunchy poo. Oh, and high horsepower. Ooh, we, dude. I love Santa Con. I love playing with them. Tons of fun. We're going to go 2-0 with this team. Okay, why are you protecting? That's, okay, we're just going to do that again. We don't get buffeted by the storm. You do. <laughs> we're going to go 2-0 with this team. I really did like the Steelix. The Steelix was cool, but he's so good. If you're rocking all physical attackers, you get that thing out there. You gotta get that thing out there with physical attackers. It'll eat up all day. And that body press and that gyro ball is beautiful. It's just beautiful. Let's get it. Like, you saw it. One tap that Hydreigon. Like, get out of my face, Hydreigon. Sandstorm is gone. We still should be able to we double out speed here. And we still should be able to take out both these guys here. Or, not both these guys. Both these attacks should be able to take this fire thrown out. Let's see it. Let's go. High, high horsepower. Show it to me. Bye bye, T Tar. Thanks for coming. Thank you for your weakness policy, Dynamax. You did some work, buddy. My own Sanda. Santa, show us what's up. Let's go. Let's go. Iron Barb's going to do a little bit of effect to us afterwards, but we still won. We got that W. We got that W. Yes, sir. <laughs> this team was hype. Tons of fun to play. I love rocking out with it.
Not gonna lie, this team was so much fun to play. That Sandaconda is a lot of fun considering you can get those sand tombs rolling with that sandstorm, do some double little pester damage. It's kind of like a stall team mixed in with just like an all out damage team because you got that lead seed over there with the sand spit. You get the sandstorm rolling, like I said, with that sand tomb. Like we had all that going at once and it was just mayhem. I also love the gravity on this team. We did get to show that off. We could pull, levitate, and flying Pokemon down, then hit him with ground moves. So that's definitely cool. Also, I love that Steelix. Love showing it off with that high defensive power and that body press. We showed off that body press, how much damage it can do. Just one tap that Hydreigon. But guys, if you'd like to use this team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen. Definitely use it up. Let me know how you do with it. One thing I would change with this team would probably be throwing uh, another special attack because it's very, very physical, and the only thing you have or special is that Arcanine right there. And like if they just have a water Pokemon, you're kind of just like, eh, I can't throw in a special attack. <laughs> but guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Also, let me know for question of the day, what is your favorite starter batch? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.